Guys. Guys! How do I sound like this? Where's my hair? What the? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. She. Who are you guys? Huh? Okay, what the hell? Oh, oh, god. God. oh my god! Get off I me. am totally suing you! What's wrong with my voice? Get off the move! Where am I? Get off the move! Oh! Oh! What the hell? What happened to the rest of me? What is this? What is this on my back? What is this? Oh, my God. Fridge? Yeah, I'm Fridge. Who are you? I'm Spencer. What? The hell you are? What is going on? Huh? I think... we're in the game. So, excuse me? What are you talking about? Somehow, I don't know how, I think we, we got, like, sucked into the game and we've become the avatars that we chose. So it's me, Spencer, but yet I look and sound like Dr. Smolder Bravestone. You're telling me that you're Spencer? Yes, 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 that's it. Fridge, I'm Spencer, which, which means you're Moose Finbar. It says it right there on your vest. And Martha? Yeah. You're Ruby Roundhouse. And Bethany, your professor Shelley Oberon. Only Shelley must be short for Sheldon. What are you talking about? Oh my God! Oh my God! He's right. And you, you're Spencer. You? Yes, guys. I'm telling you, I am Spencer. I'm Spencer. <laughs> ah! Yep, that's Spencer. Whoa! Whoa! So that means I, I'm. Wait, Bethany. Bethany, don't. I'm an overweight, middle-aged man. Uh, I have a tattoo. My mom always said she'd kill me if I ever got a tattoo. I have one, too. Sometimes. Wait a second. Where's my phone? Why am I wearing this outfit in a jungle? Tiny little shorts and a leather halter top. I mean, what is this? I look like a living garden gnome. Where is my phone? Who we cares? are in different people's bodies. It doesn't seem like the most pressing concern at this moment. Oh, really? You don't think this would be a good moment to make a phone call or text somebody or change your status to stuck in a freaking video game? All I'm saying is I don't have my Claritin, OK? And I'm allergic to almost everything. Oh, no. You got allergies, Spencer? Huh? I don't have the top two feet of my body. You guys, this can't actually be happening. Maybe we're all in a coma. Together? We're all in a coma together? It's the only explanation. That old game machine must have electrocuted all of us. Oh, 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 You better get in there and go save her. I'm not getting in there. You get in there. I'm going anywhere. I got a backpack on. You don't get in water with a backpack. Everybody knows that. Ow! What the? Bethany! What the? Are you okay? That was so intense. I, like, can't even with this place. What just happened to you? I got eaten by a rhino, and then I fell like a thousand feet from the sky. Yeah, that's what it looked like. That was a hippo. 
They're omnivorous. They're as fast as a horse over short distances, and they have the bite force of 8,100 newtons. How do I know this? You're an expert in zoology. What? I'm still an old fat guy, right? I'm afraid so. Wait, wait, wait. Why is everybody OK with this? I mean, she fell out of the sky. Um, guys? Bethany, get up. Bethany, get up. Ah, Dr. Bravestone, welcome to Jumanji. Don't just stand there. In you go. Go, 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 go. go. Dr. Bravestone, famed archaeologist and international explorer, known across the seven continents for your courageous exploits. Is there a seatbelt? I can't tell you what an honor it is to finally meet you. And I'm not embarrassed to say you're even more dashing in person. Um, thanks. Who are you? Nigel Billingsley at your service. Ruby Roundhouse, killer of men, welcome to Jumanji. I've been so anxious for your arrival. <laughs> As you know, Jumanji is in grave danger. We're counting on the four of you to lift the curse. Curse? What curse? Excuse me, have you seen my phone anywhere? Professor Sheldon Oberon! Welcome to Jumanji. Nigel Billingsley at your service. I've been so anxious for your arrival. What's with this guy? I think he's an NPC. A what? English, please. A, a non-player character. He's part of the game. So anything we ask him, he only has his program series of responses. Got it. It's all clear now. Franklin Mouse Finbar, welcome to Jumanji. It's Moose, it's not Mouse. No good, sir. I'm quite sure it's Mouse. Mouse. A nickname given for your diminutive stature and adorable manner. I knew you'd be here. Dr. Bravestone doesn't go anywhere without his trusty sidekick. Sidekick? Ever since Dr. Bravestone rescued you from the clutches of a warlord in the jungles of Peru, you've never left his side. Right. Can we go back to the curse thing? It's all documented in the letter I sent you, Dr. Bravestone. Perhaps you should read it aloud. I don't have a letter. Whoa. Right, uh, Dr. Bravestone, I am writing to you regarding the desperate situation in Jumanji. Jumanji. We, we need, need your help, help at once. once. Whoa, guys, what's happening? Okay, what the hell is going on? I think it's a cutscene. A lot of games have them. It's like a little movie to tell you the backstory. My name is Nigel Billingsley, Jumanji Field Guide. I was hired by your former partner, now nemesis, Professor Russell Van Pelt, to lead a fateful expedition. You see, Professor Van Pelt had come in search of the fabled Jaguar Shrine, resting place of the sacred jewel of Jumanji. As you know better than anyone, the jewel was his great obsession. And after years of research, he believed that he had discovered its whereabouts. Could it be? Have I finally found it? Van Pelt told me that he wanted to find the jewel in order to document it in his writings. It's real. What I did not know was that he intended to take the jewel for himself. Legend tells that the Jaguar watches over Jumanji, and anyone who dares to blind him will be consumed by a dark power. Van Pelt assumed dominion over all Jumanji's creatures, possessing them, controlling them. And a terrible curse befell this once placid land. I begged him to put it back, but once he had it in his grasp, he could never let it go. <laughs> 